Hi, welcome back to the Pilates Fix. I'm Krista Matthews. Today's going to be the first workout in the Holiday Fix Challenge this year. And the reason I decided to do this is my sister actually asked me to do a band workout. So I was about to film one for her and then I decided like, let's get all people involved. So I'm going to kick this off with a band workout. Um, if you don't have one, you can do everything that we're doing without the band today. Uh, you just will have the less resistance, but you totally can do it. We're going to take it and put it around the thighs. And again, if you don't have one that loops, you can tie one. Um, okay, so listen to your body, right? You're going to challenge yourself as best as you can today. So opening your legs a little wider than your hips, we are going to start with some plain old squats. So you'll just squat down, lift up. So those legs are wider than your hips, depending on the heaviness of your band. Well, obviously, probably determine where you can go. My band's a little on the lighter side, which I'm okay with today. Down and up, lower and lift. So as we do the squat, you want to keep that weight centered over your feet, bend those knees so they track over the middle foot, your pelvis sits back, you keep your heart open. We go down and up. So I'm not playing any music today. I want you to be able to put whatever music you want and you want to have on in the background. I want you to be able to hear me. All right, so pick your own music. You need like two or three songs. Let's do four more here. We've got those toes spread. Two, one. Now go back one more time. Stay down there, little pulses down and up. We go down, up. I like to have my hands in my heart. In front of my heart, you can always hold on to your hips. It just feels the most comfortable for me. Shoulders go down your back, heart is open. Keeping those abs in, you start to feel that burn. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it down, we press out and in with both those legs. We go out in. Here's what I want you to focus on here. Weight in your big toe. So it's really tempting to want to roll out that foot. I can feel my right foot wanting to do it. So I gotta keep even weight on those feet. Target the outer hips. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now just the right side out in two and three, four. We've got two sets of eight here. Eight more, four, eight, seven. Just keep breathing. Four, three, two, other side. We've got eight, two sets of eight. Again, keep weight in your big toe knuckle, also in your heel. Eight more counts. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and stand all the way up. Now from here, we'll go into a curtsy lunge. So we step to one side, back to the center squat, to the other side, center squat. So we curtsy. When you're doing this, you're reaching that leg back and to the side. So you reach back into the side. Again, I like my hands in front of my chest. You can always put your hands to your hips. If you want to reach your arms out to the side, that's also a nice option. So you can work those arms just by holding them up there. So you're just breathing through this. This really gets those legs working. Gets that blood flowing, those bigger muscles. Gets your heart rate up a little quicker. Let's do four more each side. Three more each side. Keep that breath going. Feels so good to move. Two more. One more. All right, and then come back to the center. Now turn those legs out. We're going to bring those legs together. So now we'll add a little side bend to a plie. So hands behind your head. Step to one side, plie. Side bend, come back up, other side. Side plie. Go whatever pace feels good for you. Might want to pick it up. You can also add a releve into the center. So add a little bit more balance challenge. I'm going to stay down and move through it. 
So if we're doing plie now, so now what that means is it's more of a long line staying up over your pelvis versus sticking your pelvis back like the squats that we did earlier. That's a little different. Almost done here. Two more each side. One more each side. And then bring it back to the center. Okay, now we're gonna move down onto your mat, lying down onto your back, bringing that band so it comes right below your knees. Move my mic to the side. Working with my small space here so you can see me. Yeah, so the band's gonna come right around your legs below your knees. So what you'll do here is, and you can do this again without the band, you'll press your legs out slightly, curl your head and shoulders up, you'll grab on underneath that band, just those fingers, and the hundred, we pump here. You can do this with the legs together or apart. I said apart, but I think together would be a little bit better. So you're just doing a little pumping, it's very intense. If you don't have a band, go to your regular hundred. If you need to keep your head down, you're not gonna use the band. So take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Deep breath. So we're trying to get the shoulders away from your ears. Deep breath in. And exhale out. And in. And out. Three more. Exhale out. Two more. And out. One more. We're just doing a little bit of ab before we get back to the legs and then lower down. Just gonna take that band, put it around your um, feet, excuse me, and then you'll put your hands behind your head, curl your head and shoulders up. So from here, flex your feet, tailbones down, curling your head and shoulders up. You just lower one foot towards the floor, the other leg stays very still, resist back up, other leg. So you can do this with your head down if you need to. What you're paying attention to, you can also do it with your arms down by your side. What you're paying attention to is that you're keeping your low ribs down so we don't arch into the back. Get those abs really working here, breathing through this. And the back of the leg is also working. But keeping that band there gives you a little extra resistance, deepening through that center. Inhaling and exhaling through this. One more time, each leg. Last one. And then bend the knees lower down. So now we'll do something a little different, crisscross with the um, band around the feet. So stretch out one leg, twist towards that opposite knee. Feel that the abs working there. And switch. So we're gonna move through this. Keeping your elbows wide, curling up armpit to that knee. If you need to take your legs out of this and just do the twisting, you certainly can. Listen to your body. I always want you to challenge yourself, but in a way that feels best for you. You are your own expert. I can just guide you. Breathe. Two more each leg. One more each leg. And then lower everything down. Okay, so we're gonna move that band up above your knees onto your thighs, and then work your way up onto your hands and knees. So, do a little more ab work, excuse me, a little more leg work. So you can do this either with your um, hands down or if you need to, your forearms can go down. Listen to your body. I'm gonna move forward a little bit, make sure I have room behind me. Straighten one leg back behind you. Shoulders back, abs in, tailbone long. That leg will lift and lower. Two, three. So I'm gonna do a bunch of different variations. So now that leg's gonna continue to lift, but you'll tap it over to the left side or the right side. Yep, left side, then the right side. So you're lifting up through that spine. Think about that throat lifting up to the spine. It's gonna help you connect into your core a little bit more. Four more, each leg. Three, two, one. Now lower that down. The leg's gonna lift out to the side and come in. This is that dog peeing on a hydrant exercise. You're lifting really strong out of that left side. So you're not, or out of the opposite side, I should say. It's my left side, so that you're not sinking into that opposite hip. 
stabilizing you. Three, two, now I'll add circles. So go forward, out, and around. So we're trying to stay very still, lengthening up. I always have to remind myself that lift up and that length through the crown of my head. Three more in this direction. Two, one more, and then reverse. Back, out, and around. Back, out, and around. Just keep that breath going. You have four, three, almost done. Two, last one. And you're gonna lift your leg up, flex your foot, little pulses up and down, last bit. If you wanna challenge this, stretch that opposite arm forward. Palm pieces in, reach through the crown of your head for eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower that down. Just sit back into child's pose for a moment. Give those arms a quick rest. We go right to the other side. You can stay where you are. I'm just gonna turn around. So you can see my leg this way. Find that length in your spine. Stretch that opposite leg out, the one you did not just do. Tailbones in, lift and lower. Tailbone is long, abs are in. You're reaching long. Think about touching the wall behind you. Lifting those low ribs up for four, three, two, one. Now lift up, go to one side. Lift up, go to the other. We call this double rainbow. You might hit furniture like I just did. <laughs> I knew my apartment was small, but I realized during quarantine, you know, when I had to film, it's small, but it's okay, it works for me. <laughs> Three, two, just a little maneuvering. Bend that knee, now open the leg out and in. So you're working that stabilizing side, the one that's down. So I love these exercises because they work your outer hip, yes, but they also work your abs. So your whole body is having to work when we're doing these. Four, reaching long, three, two, one, now circle forward, out and around. This one, keep that pelvis still. Find that breath. Deep inhale, long exhale. Four more, shoulders away from your ears. Three, two, reverse. So these might only be 10-ish minutes, but you certainly feel your body. Four more, three, you're almost done. Two, last one. Last bit here, you're gonna lift your leg up. If you wanna challenge that balance, you can reach the opposite arm forward, palm in. Little pulses up, lifting up through that spine. Lengthening from the crown of your head, you have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower that down. Sit back onto your heels for child's pose. Take a deep breath in, deep exhale out. Come up to a seated position. We'll do one quick stretch. You can always stretch longer on your own after. I'm just gonna have you take the band off. Sit with your legs crossed. If you need to lie on your back and do figure four stretch, if that feels better for you, you can. Otherwise, cross one leg in front of the other. Arms go out in front of you. You're just gonna walk forward. I'm gonna disappear a little bit. So get to stretch those outer hips that we just worked. Take a deep breath in, exhale, and then come back up. We're gonna switch other leg, walk it down. Get yourself in a position where you can feel that stretch. Take a deep breath in, exhale, and then walk your way up. Sitting up nice and tall, let's ground together. One last deep breath. Hands on your thighs, take a deep breath in. Fill your lungs, exhale. And you are all done, good job. Thank you so much for joining me for day one of the Pilates Fix Challenge. I will see you tomorrow for day two, bye.